Hey, welcome to my show, and today we're going to be talking about uh, steam siphons or pigtails. Um, obviously, due to the shape of the bit of should be brass, it's uh, in this country, it's a quarter inch um, national pipe thread on either end. This end is threaded to the end of the uh, block, and this portion here captures water. And so when the steam pressure applies, it pushes on the bit of water that's trapped here and compresses the air in here, which is then either sensed by the pressure gauge, but more importantly, should be sensed by the pressure controller. So we're not going to be talking about ordinary steam siphons. We're going to focus on a hidden type of, of steam siphon, which could probably cause uh, problems. If this becomes clogged, then the uh, boiler pressure is not under any control, and the gauge, uh, of course, the gauge doesn't read much of anything on in proper situations because it's several times more than the actual operating pressure of the steam boiler. We've gone into this before about um, what the gauge should show and what it actually does show and why. So we won't be talking about that too much. And you can check on my other videos on that. But if this becomes clogged, at least you can take it apart and clean it out. The other types of siphons which you run into might not be so easy to uh, clear out. So this is your typical uh, two, two and a half inch diameter gauge which is found on a lot of residential size steam boilers. This is the gauge internally. Um, you have the Burdon tube and you have the uh, very clever uh, clockwork mechanism which uh, was designed by Monsieur Burdon in like 1849 and uh, this saved a lot of boiler uh, explosions when this occurred because then you could read pressures accurately, reliably, um, as opposed to what you can do with a dip tube. So you have your hole here. Um, this is again quarter inch. This diameter is either 9 16 or uh, 14 millimeters. We take a drill bit and we can go and we bottom out on the inside like that. So that takes care of those particular gauges. And occasionally you'll see on the older boilers something like this. You'll see the sign for internal siphon gauge. So rather than have, this can be applied theoretically directly to the boiler block. It's a half inch in this particular case. And what they have is the siphon, the steam siphon is here, or the pigtail is here, which captures the water and allows the gauge to be protected from, from the direct action of the steam. And these are very ruggedly built and last a very long time. Um, it's another example here. Made my, and it says again, internal siphon. And so you're able to see the siphon here as opposed this is the uh, bird on gauge with its linkage you can see I'm moving it gently here and it'll move in either direction hence the uh, the name compound later on they came out with a smaller gauge and this is where we kind of get into trouble so it does say internal siphon on it and when you look at it it's the same on the inside and you're not seeing that loop as you are with the uh, with the other one so where is the siphon on this gauge it looks like they're <laughs> just printing something there which might not be true but let's take a look at the end the end is a little different there's the uh, regular gauge and there is the uh, one that's labeled internal siphon if we go in, we're only going in part way, as opposed to much further. So let's cut these one of these open and see what's inside. Of 
And this is the one that's supposedly labeled internal siphon. There's the bird on tube. There's the linkage. They're all, all have that linkage and they all have this sectional gearing and uh, watch spring and uh, pointer. So we've cut it open like this and this is what we see inside. It's fairly complex. Here we can get a close up of that. So we have a smaller tube and this is where the steam can enter up here. It's open at the end. Let's see if I can get that out for you. Like so. There's not a whole lot of clearance in these spaces. I had to work it a little bit when I cut it open. And then it, so the water is trapped in here. This end is closed, sealed off. So that's the siphon. And see if you can see it, there's a little, like a little tiny isosceles triangle there. I don't think you can see it in that one, but you might be able to see it in this one. Let's see if we, how close, there it is. I think you can see it right there. That's the, that's where the pressure is supposed to go through. So again, um, my point about these internal siphon ones is kind of really more like a warning label than, uh, and it's something useful. So they, this theoretically can be put directly onto the boiler without a pigtail. See if you can. And that's what that's supposed to look like. Not much to it. Like so. The other type you might see, pardon me, pardon me, and I seem to have misplaced it again. Uh, well, let's see, where'd it go? Oh, pardon my disorganization, folks. Um, I think you can tell that it's a little hard to find stuff. Here it is. On some gauges, rather than have the um, mounting on the bottom, it has it in the back. And I suspect this one and you'll sometimes see these marked internal siphon, and sometimes you won't. But this one, in effect, because of its construction, is essentially an internal siphon gauge. It goes through to the bottom, goes through right about to there. So how does it get from here down to here? And if you take a look, you'll see a plug right there where they've carefully drilled. You can follow the path of the drill. So it's got to go into this space here where the bird on tube is, miss these two screws and miss this edge and the internal edge, which is quite a bit of drilling there, uh, precision drilling. Again, there's the bird on tube. There's the linkage. There's the sector gear um, right there and the pinion and the watch spring and so forth. So this is also an internal siphon gauge. Sometimes they're labeled, sometimes they're not because the water can get trapped in here, but also dirt and so forth and it, you won't be able to get it out. So a lot of times these gauges, you'll see them, the boiler won't even be on and the pressure will be reading something like that and won't move. It may drop a little bit. It may go up a little bit. But once you see a gauge that's stuck in some position, then the, then that usually means that you know, the gauge has failed or the internal siphon is blocked or whatever. And my advice would be to figure out a way of removing that and putting on a proper steam siphon. Thank you very much for your um, attention, your kind attention. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one. Stay safe out there, and happy steaming.